Question 4 from Section 2 of the 2022 Higher Physics Examination from the SQA. In 2012, a record was set for a stunt involving a highest skydive without deploying a parachute. The person jumped from a helicopter at an altitude of 730 metres above the ground and they flew in a specially designed wingsuit at speeds of up to 130 kilometres per hour for nearly 1.5 kilometres before landing safely on the empty cardboard boxes. Now this is an open question and for three marks we have to use our knowledge of physics to comment on the challenges involved in carrying out the stunt successfully. Now you could go down the wrong road here and concentrate on the challenge of the wingsuit in order to get that person right on target to the boxes, but that's not in the higher physics design of wingsuits. What is in the higher physics is impulse and change of momentum and it's about bringing someone to a stop and if you want to bring someone to a stop safely you must provide a force in the impulse over a given time and the force must be small enough not to break your bones or injure you or even fatally uh, destroy your body as you're brought to a rest. So it's an impulse and it's a change of momentum problem. So lead your discussion through that, keep it to a minimum, and you should get your free marks. I would start off by just mentioning the fact that at a height of 730 metres, that person is going to have a very large gravitational potential energy. You could write that down for the examiner. And this gravitational energy is going to be converted into kinetic energy as the person falls. And that kinetic energy is going to result in the person having a very high speed near the point where he has to stop. That is the ground. And that very large speed is going to be uh, is going to be actually showing up in the form of a very large momentum. So there's your input, there's your key to get in there. The, um, the, the, the large value of the speed is going to give a large value of momentum and you must change that momentum to zero. Now to come to a stop you have to tell the examiner that you must reduce that person's momentum to zero. That's the key fact here. And how is that done? It's done with an impulse. An impulse must be given to the person in order to change the person's momentum from that high value to zero, bringing a person to a stop. Now, that impulse can either be given by the ground or by something which we've looked at here, the boxes. And we know we can write down that little equation there. We can say that the impulse, Ft, is equal to the change momentum. So the change momentum is going to be the same, uh, it's going to be very high. And we only can change really the force, the F and the T. So we've got two options here and one of the options is is to make the time of contact really long so that a small force applied to the person remember we can't change the momentum part of this we only can change either the force and time so either can have a large force over a small time big number times a small number and that's not really what we're looking for or we can have a small force over a very big time and that's what we're looking for. So the key to this is to make the time of contact with the ground as long as possible, as long as we can, so that the product, F times T, the T will be very big and the F will be very small. And that's all to do with that impulse equation there. So that's really the challenge that we have then. So we can bring in that statement. We can say the challenge would be to know the amount of cardboard boxes needed to provide this long time of contact through their collapsibility. Will three layers do the job? Will four layers do the job? Will five layers do the job? We're looking for the longest time of contact possible. But if we get that, we have uh, the product, uh, is part of the product F here, as small as possible. So that's the sort of argument you can take to get your, 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 your final answer there. You see that it's going to be an impulse and a change of momentum really question and really you should use your knowledge of that to work your way through it. Large height, large gravitational potential energy, that will be converted into kinetic energy which will result in a large amount of kinetic energy near the bottom which will result in a large speed which will result in a large momentum. You're telling about the physics you know. And to come to a stop, all that person's momentum must be reduced to zero. How is it done? 
is done by an impulse, a force applied over a given time. In this case, the force is either from the ground or from these boxes here, uh, and really you want to have the time of contact with the ground as long as possible. And that's why you have all these boxes here. So the challenge is to reduce uh, the force by making the time of contact as long as possible. And the challenge is, will it be three layers, four layers, five layers of boxes? That's up to the physicists to design and make sure that stunt is safely. Good question. And if you follow those arguments, you're bound to get your three marks. Mm -hmm.